IVF is a great therapy when required and has helped many couples, millions of couples in fact around the world have children they would otherwise have not had. But there are some um, potential risks so it's wise to be cautious before going down this path. In general terms, the risks could be divided into three groups. The first group of risks is the immediate risk of the treatment itself. Um, the second group would be the risks of the pregnancy that follows. And the third group of risks would be the long-term outcome risks for the children born from IVF. So I'll deal with the first group of risks initially. And they relate to the, mainly to the medication we use to stimulate the ovaries to, to get lots of eggs. And so those medications can have some side effects. So there's some usually bearable but, um, but not always pleasant side effects of the increased hormones that come from the treatment. That process can sometimes um, be dangerous if there's too high levels of hormones and too many eggs produced. And we call that ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. And we try very hard in our clinic to minimise the chances of that occurring. Um, also, in order to have IVF, um, the woman needs to have the eggs harvested from, from her ovaries, and that procedure requires a light anaesthetic. It may be complicated by bleeding and um, by infection, although rarely so, and less than 1% of cases have serious complications from those procedures. So they are the major risks of the actual treatment cycle. Then we move on to the risks of uh, the, the, for the pregnancies that follow. And um, in overall terms, IVF pregnancies are not particularly different from other risks. There's no increased risk in miscarriage, but there appears to be in the group of women who carry IVF pregnancies, slight tendency towards premature delivery and sometimes smaller babies that are not growing quite so well. One of the other hazards of, of IVF is if there are multiple pregnancies produced. So most of the risks relate to more than one baby at a time. At fertility specialists, we're very cautious about not putting two embryos in, in the uterus at once, so the risk of multiple pregnancies, twins or triplets is much less. The risk of, or the, the chance of identical twins is slightly elevated in IVF. And this is a complication that we can't prevent, but it gives an idea that there is something a little different about what's going on with the, the early development of a pregnancy um, related to IVF, which is one of the number of reasons to be cautious about jumping into IVF treatment. The third group of risks uh, relate to the, out the outcomes for the children born from IVF. If you look at the population of children born from IVF versus those that aren't, there is a subtle increase in the risk of what can be wrong with those children. However, a lot of that risk relates to the group of people needing the IVF. So their health conditions, their age, are probably a bigger contributing factor to, to those risks. Um, but there is a small group of conditions that are to do with the expression of the genetics in the, both the embryo, then the pregnancy, then the child, that may be a little different in IVF. So we're not quite sure um, the, the cause of that, but it's another reason to be a little cautious before going down the IVF path. And uh, so we're watching that space and we're involved in research in those areas and we wish to, we want to maximise the chances of a couple having a baby, but we also want to maximise the health of those children. Um, on that note, I would caution anyone against seeking treatment where there is um, a rush to move towards IVF treatment. We, we pride ourselves at our clinic on exploring all available options prior to going down that path. Mm -hmm.